Hi guys, my name is Ashley and I'm a mom of two little girls. My toddler Kylie just turned 27 months old and this is little Mia here and she just turned three months old. One of the first things that I tackled when my daughter Kylie was about six months old was figuring out how I wanted to set up my kitchen for her once she got a little bit older. Now obviously at six months old, she wasn't doing a whole lot of practical life activities at the time, especially nothing independently. But I immediately got to work kind of figuring out which areas of my kitchen I wanted to set up specifically for her. It's something that I'm continually working on. I'm always finding little gadgets and tools for her that are toddler sized that she can use that I'm adding to her collection of cooking utensils. And I'm always trying to figure out new ways to help her become more and more independent. Our setup is by no means fancy, but it is definitely in line with Montessori values for setting up as much independence as possible for your child at home. So from one busy parent to another, today I wanna to share with you my toddler's Montessori kitchen setup. kitchen we have this little area right down here that is specifically for Kylie so in the top drawer she has some of her like cooking utensils there's a little small size cutting board a little hand juicer that I have to keep in two pieces so the drawer can close but that's for juicing oranges her apple slicer an egg slicer and then some lids just to some of the little snack bowls that she has but these tools are in here and she is able to access this drawer independently in this drawer she has her little snack bowls or cereal bowls, depending on what she wants to use them for, and a little silverware tray that has all of her spoons and her forks and her knives, and then it's just some other like random cooking utensils that she uses primarily for like baking and whatnot with me, but those are all in there for her. And then in the bottom drawer are just all of her plates that are standing up in this like little rack thing that we got from Ikea. The one thing that we don't have yet that I would love to add is a little water station right here for her. They sell these like little water canisters with the little tap that you can just open up by yourself. And they're kind of skinny, so it doesn't hold a ton of water, but I would love to be able to fill it up, put it right here and have her glasses down here in this drawer also so that she can fill up her little glass by herself. That's just something that we haven't set up yet and I would like to in the near future because she's totally capable of using a water station independently. So in the bottom of our fridge here, this is kind of like Kylie's section of the fridge. So she's got access to all of these fruits and vegetables up here at any time which she loves so she's always grabbing from there as well as these two drawers so this drawer right here is usually filled with little fruit and vegetable pouches a little bit of yogurt and different types of cheese that she likes to eat the other drawer right here is almost always just filled with applesauce pouches for on-the-go snacks or just you know she needs a little quick fix the one thing that we recently purchased for Kylie right around Christmas time was this learning tower and this is hands down the best investment we ever made because she can get up into it all by herself and she gets up right here at counter height. She's constantly cooking with me and baking with me and just kind of helping with dinner prep and sometimes she stands here and eats her snacks or her breakfast. She loves this thing and even though the dishwasher is not exactly part of our kitchen setup, she is able to access it independently and she is very excited about that 99% of the time. She knows exactly what she's supposed to do as far as putting her dirty dishes into the dishwasher by herself. And then she even knows how to close it by herself. So this is our family table where we generally have breakfast and dinner together, lunch sometimes at this table. But you can see this is all the adult seating and Kylie has her own junior chair right here. So this chair is called a Kikaru Right Height Chair. I will link it below so you guys can see it brand new. This is actually a secondhand one that we refurbished and painted it this color just to kind of match the decor in our house. It's actually a lot cheaper than the Stokey chairs that you've probably seen. So it's kind of like an economical version of that and it accomplishes the same task because you can actually move this seat and this little foot plate thing up and down to match your child's exact height and it's really cool because she can then push herself right up to the table and she can have dinner time with us at our level she's not in a separate chair all by herself
a spoon for your yogurt. Where are you gonna get a spoon? From my dog. One thing I would like to point out is that in a true Montessori environment, you would have nothing but natural materials, all utensils made of metal, all ceramic dinner plates and bowls, things that are breakable, things that we would use as adults around the house. And even though Kylie uses those dishes, typically when we have dinner, I serve her dinner on those plates and out of those cups, but I don't store them currently in a place that she can access. And that's a personal decision for me. It's not that I'm worried about them breaking their just plates and cups, but Kylie is very independent and she often runs to her little drawer to pull out plates and silverware and things, sometimes even just for play in her play kitchen, even though she uses them for real snacks. And so sometimes she'll run and get those things when I'm not watching her. And I definitely would not want her to grab something that is breakable when she's not being supervised and accidentally injure herself. Again, it's not that I'm worried about the plate breaking. That would be an excellent lesson for her in taking care of the things in her environment so that they don't break. But again, I do not want to risk her severely injuring herself. So until she's a little bit older, I'm probably going to say maybe around the three year mark is when I will actually start relocating some of those breakable items down into a lower cabinet that she can access herself anytime that she wants. But right now at just over two years old, she is still very, very clumsy and I just don't want her to hurt herself. So again, that's a personal decision for me. I know that there are definitely some Montessori families out there who put the breakables down below where their toddler can get to them right away from the get-go and there's nothing wrong with that as long as you're comfortable with that and you know that you can supervise your child. I will be sure to put links down below for you guys for all the little tools and things that you saw in the video at least for the ones that I can find if you're interested in purchasing them for your toddler as well. I know sometimes miniature versions of stuff can be kind of hard to come by. If you guys have any questions about something that you saw in the video definitely feel free to leave a comment down below and I'd love to chat with you guys about it. If you like today's video please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And just in case you're new to my channel, I did want to let you know that this video is part of a larger series called Montessori at Home, which is aimed at providing practical tips and advice for busy parents like you and I for implementing Montessori philosophies at home with your children. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in watching more of, then you might consider subscribing to my channel so that you don't miss a new video because I do put one out every single week, just like this one. Other than that, thanks for watching today and we'll see you next time. Bye.